Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to your sixth lesson in the Intermediate Algebra playlist. Before we start diving into algebra, there's a few things I want to make sure that you guys have down. And one of those things is adding and subtracting fractions. So in order to add or subtract fractions, let's say we have a divided by b, and we want to add that to, let's say, c divided by b. Well, this is nice, since we both have, uh, they both have the same denominator right here. Uh, we can simply add the two numerators together and divide that result by the same common denominator. And likewise, if we have a divided by b minus c divided by b, since we have a b on the bottom, both of them are the same number, we can simply say this is a minus c, this numerator minus that numerator, divided by the common denominator b. So let's go ahead and uh, do a couple quick examples here. Let's say that we have 1 half and we're going to add that to 5 halves. So our b's are the same. We have the same common denominator. In this case our b is 2. And so we simply add the tops, the numerator. So this is 1 plus 5 divided by 2. And 1 plus 5 is equal to 6 divided by 2, and 6 divided by 2 is simply 3. So that was pretty simple. Let's do a little bit harder one for the subtraction. Let's say that we have 3 fifths, and we want to subtract 1 fifteenth. So now in this case, 5 and 15 aren't the same, so we can't just immediately apply this rule here. So what we need to do is we need to change this into a 15 so that our denominators match. So what we can do is we can multiply 3 fifths by the number 1 because 3 fifths times 1 is still 3 fifths. But instead of multiplying it by 1 like this, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply it by 3 divided by 3. Since 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1, this is really just 3 fifths times 1 which equals 3 fifths. And then we're going to subtract the second term, 1 divided by 15. And now this expression, the way we handle this here, when you have one fraction multiplied by another, you simply multiply the numerators together. So this becomes not, uh, 3 times 3, which is 9. And this is 5 times 3, which is 15. And then we subtract the second term, minus 15. So this is essentially in the form we need it now. We have a 15 on both of the denominators here. And so we simply take the numerator of the first and subtract the numerator of the second. So this becomes 9 minus 1 divided by 15. And 9 minus 1 is equal to 8. And we have the common denominator of 15 now. So we just solved 3 fifths minus one fifteenth is equal to eight fifteenths. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more lessons in the intermediate algebra playlist. And uh, uh, you guys have a great day. Um, don't forget to subscribe.